Hey, what's going on? It's Pugster here. We got another special build. This is an old Dell desktop. I've used this for many purposes over the years, but it's gonna be a test rig and I'm tired of pulling stuff in and out of the case. So we're gonna remove it from the case, mount it on a board and actually make it a nice little uh, test rig. Uh, it does have an SSD in it. It's got six gigs of RAM. It's got an i3-2100 if I remember right. Um, it has a, a full PCIe slot and two, or excuse me, three uh, small slots. I have had with the splitter on this rig six cards before, but we just want to set it up so we can do one at a time, maybe two, something like that, maybe a couple risers, but it's going to be a test bench. So let's get it out of here and let's build this thing. It's the next day we got our paint to dry it turned out pretty good i thought anyway did switch out the uh the 850 for 750 this is just an extra i got laying around i'm not going to need that much power on this rig so we use a little smaller psu but let's build this thing man okay this is actually the bottom and what we're going to do is we have these little felt tabs that you put on the bottom of furniture and they're going to be like little feet so we're going to stick these over here in the corners Okay, there you go. We've got them all put on, We've got our little feet put on. We're gonna flip this thing over and start building it. All right, now we can put this test bench together. I thought I'd throw that on there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on here and, and there's really nothing to mount it to. So we're gonna find the corners and this is how I build my mining rigs too. And we use these felt tabs again and we make little feet for them to sit on. But I'm not gonna screw down every single hole. There's no need for that. I just need it in four locations, basically one on each corner or closest to the corners we can get it. So we'll put one about right there. So we got our felt tabs on for the mounts, and then you can see the motherboard just sits right on top of that. Now all we have to do is just run a little screw down through here just to kind of hold everything in place so it doesn't uh, slide off the board. And that's all we need. Now all I use is just some little wood screws. And uh, yeah, you know, 
if you want to pre-drill and use a screwdriver, go ahead. I'm a little more gutsy. Okay, it's mounted on there. See, just a couple of screws hold everything together. It's not gonna slide off or by any means, you know, it's mounted. I don't know if you can see up underneath there. Yeah, you kind of see it. Uh, it's mounted on there, it's not coming off. And then uh, we need to put the, uh, the PSU on there. Okay, PSU's mounted. I mean, look guys, it, it don't come off. It, there's, it's the Velcro, it's, it's not coming off. Uh, you can get it off if you need it to, but it's, it's stuck on there pretty good. I need to figure out where to mount this little jobby. Yeah, I think we'll just mount the SSD right there. Hopefully that cable don't get in the way. If not, I can swap it out with a longer one uh, of the uh, GPU and it's it's mounted. I mean, it's not, it's not falling off. So let's do some wiring. All right, well, that's about the best I can do right now. It's kind of cold out here and these wires don't want to bend real easy. So we'll get it in the house, warm it up a little bit and then maybe do a little bit better uh, wire management on it. So uh, that leaves me with uh, Two connectors on each strand. They're both six plus two pin. We've got another one right here. So we can hook up the GPU, get some power. And uh, you know, later if we need to put a riser or something in there, we can do that. But uh, we'll just leave these hanging for now till we figure out uh, what we're gonna do. All right, there she is. We've got a little cable management to do, uh, but I need to build a few brackets here. I gotta build a bracket for this fan. And I need to build a bracket to stabilize the front of the GPU, but that might be part two. Let's see if this thing will actually work or not. All right, let's install a GPU here. The socket is definitely in the way. Let's see what can do. Okay, on this motherboard, you cannot force the video out to stay on the motherboard. It has to go through the graphics card because it's an older computer. So we had to get an adapter and we got her fired up and you can see she is in the system right there. So let's see if we can get this thing mining. Okay, quick little reboot after we install the drivers and let's get everything fired up, see if we can get her going. All right, there you go, she's running. We just threw it on nice hash, like I said, it's just a test bench. I normally don't mind nice hash, but for this purposes, what the heck. So there you go, there she is. Now we have to do a little bit of work on some of our wires, but we will work on that. But now we know we have a test bench, we can throw cards in, we can BIOS mod, we can adjust, tune, and uh, you know, that's what we wanted. We just wanted a quick and easy way to be able to put cards in and out of the rig. Is it the most prettiest thing in the world? No, it's not, but it's functional and that's what I wanted. Maybe we'll do a part two after I get all the brackets built, but until then guys, this is Pugster out. You guys have a great day. See ya.